Well, hello. We're back at my desk doing gaming content. I hope you enjoy my gaming content, I guess. I don't know how to start this. Um, my name's Princess Sherber, if you haven't been here before. And this is an unhinged ranking of my favorite cozy games. Uh, you'll find out what they are, or you can check the links in the bio to their Steam pages. But I'm going to have my little character take over because I didn't want to film myself while gaming. I was in my moo and I didn't need judgment. So I'll see you at the end. Bye. All right, let's jump into it. So today I am starting with one of my favorite games. I am starting with uh, Cult of the Lamb. Now, I personally think Cult of the Lamb deserves more um, cozy vibes from it. A lot of people are like, it can't be cozy because it has violence. But it's a cute little lamb that you're like helping like make a cult. I don't know what it could be cozier than that. The gameplay is really easy. He has a gun now. I didn't know we could do that. I didn't know we could give a lamb a gun. A gun. The lamb has a gun. It's immediately going into like, I can't remember where I put it, like A? I don't know. A, S, I don't know. It has a gun. It's really cute. It's really fun. And I hope you guys actually play it. Uh, it gets frequent updates all the time. It's good. I don't know what else to tell you. If you're like me, you probably found good pizza, great pizza because you saw someone play on TikTok Live or you're perusing around the app store. But I got the Steam version because I like this game so much. It's cute. Sometimes when I just need like a small time waster, I pop this up. So I put in the cozy because it's easy. It's easy to pick up and put down. And you really don't have to think much about it. You just make pizzas and decorate. But the game is a little lacking. So I'm going to put it at like a C. I just wish there was more to do. I wish the DLCs didn't cost as much as I do personally. Um, some of the items in the shop are a little high, but again, it's a time waster. I don't think they really mean for it to be a big deal or anything. I know I'm going to get shit for this and I don't care. You bet your asses I'm putting Honey Pop down as a goddamn cozy game. You do not have to try hard this game and I think it counts as cozy because of that. I put on Honey Pop genuinely when I don't want to do anything. I like dressing up the girls. I like playing my little matchy matchy games. I don't care. It's going in S. I don't care. Everyone can fight me on it. It's I love it. It's, it's a great game. It's amazing. And I like looking the tits. I don't care. I told you it was going to be unhinged. Title says unhinged. It's unhinged. All right, maybe I do deserve that one. I'll, I'll give you guys that. Okay. Yeah, maybe I am just a pervert. Whatever. I, I love Our Life. I love dating sims in general, but Our Life, beginning and always, is one of the best dating sims I have seen in, in years. In years. I feel like it, it, it's great. It's amazing. I keep stuttering, but I don't care. It's amazing. It's S tier. Um, I don't want to hear this whole, oh, a dating sim can't be a cozy. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it because it's a cozy game to me. I like to flirt with the boys. I like to dress up my little character and I like to make decisions and I like it. It's really fun. It's really um, tuned to like exactly what you want really. And it's great. There's no consequences and it's a great game. The story goes how you want it. I fuck with it. Okay. S tier. Fuck off. Cloud Gardens is a really cute game. I think it wasn't very much on Steam. I play it when I'm like looking for a challenge, but I still don't want to think too much and I like it. It's really cute and I would recommend it. Um, I think I put it like B or C. Sorry, I'm doing these out of order, but yeah, it's cute. Um, I think it's sometimes a little challenging, so that might be like not cozy for people. But hey, if you want a cozy game that still has plants in it without being farming, uh, check this one out. It's great. Not as unhinged this time because it's just a cute game. I do not care that this game came out in 2007 or that it was on the Wii or whatever station played it on. I have the Wii. I have it on Steam now, but this is my favorite game. I love Thrillville, and ironically, I love the missions. I love all the little mini games in it. I'm not good at them, but I love them. The coaster building is the most exciting coaster building thing for me. I like that we can have like crashing coasters in the second one. That's crazy, and I love it. They even have little, like, parachutes. When I was a kid, I genuinely thought those people died. And this is my top cozy game. This is going in S. I thought about doing an A because I knew people might freak out, but no. It's going in S tier, and lick my balls. Lick my anime girl balls. I do not care. It's my favorite game. Unironically, my favorite game. I'm not even going to record footage for this. Uh, Power Wash simply gets B. Everyone puts it. You know what the game looks like. Everyone plays it. It's B. Oh, well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, this is the outro. I'm going to make sure my camera doesn't freak out because every time I move my mic, it like spasms my camera. So if that happens, you'll, I don't know, like see, like, I wonder if it'll, oh no, is it good now? Great. It called me a 
fucking liar in front of all of you. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. Um, leave a comment if you agree or disagree that these are cozy games. I don't know. Get, give me some engagement. And if you want to check out my other stuff, check out my channel. Princess Sherbert, right there at the bottom. I don't know if it'll do the light up, but check out my channel. Um, and if you really like it, hit subscribe. I'm at like 100 something. Let's get to 200. Let's get weird. Let's fuck it up. I don't know how to end this. Um, bye. Mwah.